25. I'm going to zoom right along here. For this reason, Jesus said, for this reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? You know, the King James says, therefore, I say to you, right? The, 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 He's trying to set us free. He came to set the captives free. Yes, right? Yeah. I, when I teach, and I, or even I preach, how many times have you heard me say this? I'll, I'll ask a question. I'll like this to the congregation, and everybody stands, here, sits there, and stares at me. I say, "Wait a minute! If I ask you a question, you don't have to answer. You got to give me an answer. If Jesus Christ gives you a question, if He asks you a question, He wants an answer. Yes. So here's the question. All right." Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? That's a question that the Lord God Almighty, the one who went to a cross to save you, that's a question he's asking you. Have you ever thought, stopped and thought about that question? What's your life about? Is it about the things? Is it about the, the food? Is it about the clothing? Is it about your house and your car? Is that what your life is about? That's a very good question. Because without doubt, Jesus said this, because you can't serve God while you're serving mammon. You better not be worried about the following things, those, those things, or you will not. Not that you might not. You will not be serving God. And you don't want to get to heaven and stand before the Lord Jesus Christ and have him say, depart from me, I never knew you. And you sure don't. No. You sure don't. See, you, you, better, you better start. This is a life and death matter. This is not, okay, Sunday school, let's try and get a star on it. This is life and death. The Word of God is life. Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God, said, I am the life. He said, I am the truth. I am the way. If you're not following the Word, you're on the, you're, you've, you've lost your way. And you're not living a, a life, okay? So think about this next verse. Matthew 6, 26. And please... Make a note of this. Go back and read it afterwards. Go back and talk to the Lord about this. Jesus says, Look at the birds of the air that they do not sow, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? Yes. Another question. I'm giving you a couple of seconds to answer the question. Are you not worth more than them? This is a question that Jesus asked you. He takes care of them. If he'll take care of them, aren't you worth more? See, so the command is, yes, did you realize that it was a command for us to look at the birds of the air? It doesn't mean to That's casually right. glance at them. Not to just glance at the next bird you see. It's it, This is like David saying in Psalm 8, when I consider yes. thy heavens, yes. the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, it means that we are to meditatively consider what he's pointing out. Absolutely. Why? And, and by the way, the Greek word that, yeah, that's used for, for look at in, yes. in that verse, it implies a close, penetrating look. Mm. I mean, really, really considering it. Why would you want to do that? Why do you have to look at the birds? Why do you have to look at the moon and the stars? Well, it says in Romans 1.20, Paul wrote, For since the creation of the world, his, God's invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that they are without excuse. Okay? He's speaking to us through his yes. creation. But I want you to know, when he says, you know, to, to look at that, that's, that's a command of God. Yes. Yeah. This, is, this is not just a suggestion. It's not like, oh, here's an exercise. This is God's command in your life. And you better understand that from... Genesis 1 run to Revelation 22, right at the end, there's not a single suggestion. I mean, these are not suggestions. These are the commands of the one who is our Lord and Master. And you better start treating them as such. Come to me, all you with pain. Come and see. For your soul, let me touch you, touch you, make you whole. I've seen your 
your suffering, heard what you prayed.